Yeah, he's gonna be okay. Sometimes I amaze myself. I didn't know I still had, had it in me. It's gonna be very bad for you when he wakes up. Yeah. And that won't be very long from now. Before that, we have to talk. We have to talk freely. And we have to talk honestly. Sophia, you came here wanting something from me. Did you really think that I would write a confession of murder? It's going to save your son from a lot of trouble, Lionel. I can't do that, Sophia. You don't care about anyone but yourself, do you? You pretend, but when it comes right down to it, Lionel is always first, even before your own flesh and blood. Sophia, what I care about now is the truth. And I want to hear it. And I suspect that you have a few doubts of your own about your own version of it, don't you? I know what happened, I know. No, you don't. Just look at us. I mean, look at us now. Look at what you and I are both doing to each of our families. When we met, if only I had walked away from you and never looked back. But I didn't do that. And look at the way my family, my my dear Augusta and Lakin, my son and my wife and my daughter are paying for it now. Look at the price that they are paying for it. Sometimes I wish... What? Nothing. I never should have come here. I shouldn't even be talking to you. It's a waste of time and it's useless. You came here to warn me, you said. Well, please let me warn you of something. That if you don't listen to me and listen to the truth now, you'll regret it. You'll deeply regret it. I beg you to listen to me. I'm not interested in any further lies. They're not lies. I'm going to tell you now what really happened the day that Channing Jr. was murdered. Oh, yeah. I was there, but I wasn't in that study. I was in his room. And you may not want to accept that, but you're going to listen. You're going to listen to every word of it. Do you understand me, Sophia? You're going to listen to the truth.